everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, you're very welcome. My name is Alisa Fon, and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time I upload new tutorials to my channel. If you're a member, thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I'm going to show you on how to draft and sew this bossier crop top I'm putting on. So, if you want to know how I do this, keep on watching. First thing I will do is to go ahead to draw a straight line which is going to be my guideline as well my soldier line. After doing so, the next thing I will do is to take my soldier measurement divided by 2. Mine is 14. 14 divided by 2 will give me 7 inch. I will mark it up. Then I will go down by 1 inch for the soldier slant. After doing so, I will go ahead to measure my armhole deep which my is 14. 14 divided by 2 will give me 7. Then I'll go ahead now and mark again the 7 inch here like this. I'll go ahead to connect that with a straight line, like in a form of a squirrel, like so, and like so. After connecting that, the next thing I will do is to go ahead to put my neck deep and my neck width of 3 by 3 inch for now. Then I'll connect it like so. After connecting it, I'll go ahead to connect this point from here to here. Then the next thing I'll do now is to go ahead to measure from my soldier to my nipple point, which mine is ten and a half, from my soldier to my under boss, which mine is fourteen, from my soldier to the length of the top, which I'm Go with 15, then I'm going to add one and a half inch. Connect that with a straight line, just like so. When I'm done connecting the, the lines, the next thing I'll do is to come here and write the chest line, the boss point line, the under boss line, and the length. Now I'll go ahead to take my nipple to nipple measurement. Mine is 7 in 7 divided by 2 will give me 3 and a half, but I'll add half inch to it for joining the dark together. All together is 4 inch. I'll mark it up. Then I'll go ahead to connect it with a straight line. Just like so. I'll come here, measure from my soldier to how deep I want the neck to be, the neck width to be. I'll go down by 6 and a half inch I'll mark it up right then the four inch I use for my that's my boss band separation that's the nipple to nipple measurement I will add one extra inch to it all together is five inch I'll mark it up then now I'll go ahead now to connect this all the way to that five inch like this with a straight line after doing so, what I will do now is to go ahead now. I'm going to come here, measure whatever I have from here to here and divide that by two. That's to create the uh, armhole, all right? Just go ahead to connect it like so. Like as you can see me doing. After connecting it, the next thing I will do now is to take my car ruler. I'm going to connect it all the way to this uh, 5 inch, like this. Then I'll go ahead to extend this line all the way to here. I'll go ahead to create my dark of uh, 3 quarter inch here and 1 inch here. Right? I'll do the same thing here three quarter and one inch then I will come here to my boss point line I'm going to go down by three quarter inch I'm going to connect it like this my French calf I'm going to connect that dark all together after doing so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'll come here I'm going to go in with a dark of one inch and half inch here at this other side then i'm going to connect that as well like this
now what I will do is to go ahead now to put my measurement. So I'll come here on my waistline. I'll put one quarter of my waist measurement, which mine is 28, 28 divided by 4 will give me 7. Then I'll replace back the measurement we took out for the dark here. I'm going to do the same thing to my underboss line. That's 30, 30. Run my underboss is 30. 30 divided by 4 will give me 7.5. Then I will replace back the uh, dark allowance. So I'll come here. I'll put my boss measurement divided by 4. Mine is 34. 34 divided by 4 will give me 8.5. Then I'm going to add the dark allowance back. After doing so, I'll go ahead to connect it like this. Then if you notice here that it's not straight, so I'm going to go ahead and rule a straight line, okay? After doing so, the next thing I will do now is I will add my allowance at this top part because I do not add the allowance here. Right? Now, just go ahead to connect those lines straight for the back pattern. After doing so, connecting it, I'll, I'll go ahead to separate it from the front. Now, I'll go ahead and put my nipple to nipple measurement. With that 4 inch that we use, I will mark it up here all the way straight downward. When I'm done marking it, I'll go ahead to connect it with a straight line here. Then I will create my dark of uh, 3 quarter inch and 3 quarter inch. Connect it all the way to the chest line. After doing so, I'll go ahead to put in my measurement like we did for the front. Okay, one quarter of my waist measurement plus my allowance. Then I'll come here, I'll put one quarter of my bust measurement plus the dark allowance and I'll do the same thing to my underboss as well. Then I'll connect it with a straight line. Then now the next thing I'll do is to go ahead to add my one inch for my zipper because I'll be using a zipper for this, okay? Just go ahead to add my one inch for the zipper. Connect it. Like this. Now what I will do is to come here. I'm going to go down by one inch. I'm going to connect it all the way here. Like this. I'll go ahead now to measure whatever I have from here to here. Which is nine and divided by two. That's to get the center. It's almost 9, but it's not 9. I will divide it by 2. Then I get the center. I'll go ahead and go in by 3 quarter inch. Alright, you can go in here by half inch or 3 quarter inch. 3 quarter inch, then I'll connect it like so. This is to avoid the zipper from being like a puffy behind. Then... After doing so, we're going to go ahead to cut this pattern. Alright, just follow the way I'm cutting it. As you can see, everything is coming out perfectly. So, the next thing I'll do now is to place everything. That's to first of all fold my fabric into two and place the pattern on top. And I'll go ahead to cut that up. When I'm done uh, cutting, I'll just go ahead and pin them according to numbers. Therefore, to pin number 1 and number 2, pin number 2 to number 3, pin number 3 to number 4. After pinning, I'll just go ahead to stitch half inch away. Like this, all the way to the end. Now, 
Now for the strap, what I'm going to do is I'll simply fold the right side facing each other. Then I'll go ahead to stitch. Then later on, we're going to turn that out. So as you can see, when I'm done stitching the top, I went ahead to press it up. All right. And I also did the same thing to the line. As you can see here, we have that place where the breast is going to be inside okay i did the same thing to the lining as you can see the lining is very very light now what we're going to do is we're going to turn up the straps this is what i'm going to be using to turn my straps it's very very easy you just pull and get to the end pull it out then i'll take it take those straps and go and press it to lay them flat Now, next thing we're going to do is uh, I'll take my straps. I'm going to place it right here and pin right on that center line, the line of the bust pan separation. That's the nipple to nipple. On the lining, you can really see the, the, the line, but on the fabric, you can't see. So I'll just go ahead and put, pin them up there. Then I will go ahead, pin it all the way round, everything up, leaving except leaving one inch at the corner. That will be able to install the zipper. I'll go ahead to stitch it like this half inch away, like so. Leave here open, okay? One inch for the zipper. Now I'll just do the same thing here. Stitch it all the way, this down apart as well. Okay, while leaving one inch open. Now when I'm done stitching, I'll just go ahead to flip it to the right side. Okay, so you can see the way it's coming out already. So I'll just go ahead and measure the top, the back of the top, whatever I have, I'll just mark because my zipper is much longer than the top i just go ahead and pin it up that's pin the right side of the zipper facing the right side of the top pin the wrong side of the zipper facing the lining of the top okay then i'll go ahead and stitch that up so after stitching first stitch this is what i have okay then now uh, I'll go ahead now and turn it again. Turn the top now. This time around, I'm going to place the lining on top. Then I'll take to the machine and I'll stitch. And when I'm stitching, I'll have to leave about a hole about two inch open. That will be able to turn the whole top. If not, you'll not be able to turn it upside. All right. So I'm done pinning. As you can see, this is the hole I left. I'll just flip everything outside through this hole. After turning it, I'll have to go ahead to press this up. Right? And also mark the back where I want my straps to go on. Just take any of your bra, mark this, the center of your bra. That's the front and the back. Exactly where it falls. So I'll go ahead to open this small piece. And put my straps inside then I'll go ahead to uh, sew it and we are done with this uh, top stitch it here so I'll put it on to show you what it look like on me so here is what it look like on me I hope you guys love it do not forget to give me a thumbs up like comment and share hope to see you on my next project bye bye